Hello and welcome back to the Trek Ride channel. Today we're taking a look at the B-10 Battlecruiser from Starfleet Battles. A ship I never liked that much. Powerful ship, but I never liked the engines hanging off the neck. Now they did make the neck a lot deeper so you could imagine that they'd fit a warp core in here, but it just seems a bit tacked on. There's another view from here. See, there's various drawings of the ship and on some of them the thickness of this backed wing section is ridiculous ridiculously thick and then of course the idea behind putting the warp engines there along with an impulse engine was that the neck could separate and I kind of wondered would that would the Klingons ever even do that I mean are they trying to escape would they have more of a go down with the ship mentality I don't know so I wanted to create a ship with four engines a Klingon ship with four engines and I simply had to make all the engines hang down below the ship I tried putting the extra two engines above the ship, like I do on the Ontario class Expedition Carrier, but it looks Romulan when you do that, and I wanted to look Klingon. So what I came up with was this ship here, with the engines in the back, where they should be. Or should they? You tell me. Also, make your comments on whether you think the neck separation is something the Klingons would even do. Um, notice uh, we all voted earlier. I don't know if you you particularly participated in the vote, but we were talking about would the Klingons even have escape pods. And I'm glad we decided they wouldn't because when you're putting a million triangles on the ship to indicate armor, uh, it's kind of hard to put escape pods and windows on it. And this ship has no windows. Uh, you're just working hard if you're on this, baby. So that's my version of the B-10 battleship. I guess we'll call this the B-11 battleship with the engines in the back. And now let's do some beauty shots and uh, that'll conclude this episode of the Trek Right Channel. Live long and prosper.